You're checked in with the people's champ, Dre Rocca, on U92. Hi, this is Tay Money. Tay Money, what's going on? How are you? Is this Dre? This is Dre. How are you doing today? I'm good. How are you? Hey, I can't complain. I'm blessed, black, and highly favored, as my man Charlemagne would say. Uh Aha. Yes, period. Yes, that is right. And uh, you're coming into town. Yes, I'm actually here right now. You made it. She's landed. It is going down tonight at Soundwell. This is our Halloween bash. I'm talking about $500 costume contest and so much more. Are you excited? Yes, and they better come ready to win it because my outfit is out of this world. Okay, so the flyer I've seen, the the revised flyer I've seen is uh, you kind of as a Chucky. Is that a precursor to what you're going to be? Uh-uh. It's always full of surprises over here. <laughs> Are you a big Halloween fan growing up? Um, yes and no. Like, girls love to dress up, period. But, um, you know, I was basically at church, you know, doing the cakewalks and stuff like that. That's uh, definitely a Utah thing out here, too. But we are turning up tonight at Soundwell. I'm excited to see you. you uh, you're going to be performing your new big record, The Assignment. Yes, I am. And, and I got, uh, you know, I got a whole catalog now. We're getting up there. So I got quite a show for them. I hope to see everybody there. How does it feel to have such a huge record right now? I mean, I just looked on YouTube. You surpassed uh, a million views. I mean, it's it's really popping off. I seen Taylor Swift using it now. Yeah, yeah, Taylor Swift is using it. Um, there's a lot of influencers and celebrities using it right now. It, it's a crazy feeling, you know. It's pretty surreal, and and I'm just I'm not taking any moment for granted. You know, this is gonna be a crazy story one day when I when they make the movie about it. So, is that something that you would like, like a a bio? documentary kind of thing yes and if if you are a video director get at me let's do it on our own we got some dope creatives out here in utah i don't know if you know about our creatives out here but we we're like the 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 creative capital of i would say (laughs) i love the vibe it's giving it's so pretty my friends out here they're like we moving out here we moving out here i'm like we just got here (laughs) that's what happened with post malone he came here once and never left (laughs) oh man well, where he at? He need to come to the show tonight. I'm, I'm telling you, it's hard to get a hold of that man. He's a, he's a busy dude. <laughs> I'm gonna call him. So, have you, uh, you never been to Utah then? No, but I have some family members. I have some cousins that live out here. Um, my favorite cousins live out here. They also gonna be at the show tonight. Dang. So, what? Uh, do you know what city they're from? They, uh, they're from Salt Lake. Oh, okay. That's dope. Yeah. Lo- local ties yeah. there. And you, you're, yeah. you're. You're from Texas, right? Yes, a really small town in East Texas, but I reign supreme in Dallas. You heard? <laughs> are you a? Uh, are you fo- so Dallas? Are you following the uh, the Astros in the World Series? Uh, the Cowboys, the Rangers, <laughs> every, all that, the Mavericks. Let's go. So you're like, no, I, I ain't touching the the Astros, huh? <laughs> you know that's that's Houston, but you know I'm still all for them. We love the H. Period. Word. So, um, how has it been being a musical artist and being a, a, a woman in the industry? Like, are you, do you find it being more challenging or do you find it being like, yo, I don't care. I'm just doing my thing. Um, I find it both. Uh, I don't, I don't come across a challenge I can't face. Um, as a woman, you know, we face lots of challenges. Um, but you know, if you, I know, you know, I know you've seen it, your mama, everybody, we overcome it so fast. So, I'm just out here fighting for what's mine, and they have no choice but to give it to me. Yeah, that's what I like to hear. I like um, I like it when creatives and artists really don't make excuses and go out there and get it, and that's what I see you doing. I see you out here getting yeah. it. Um, my whole family, as soon as they heard the assignment, my son, he's eight years old. He He's uh-huh. always listening to that, that song and the video. And, um, you know, speaking of the video, are you a gymnastic kind of lady? Or were you? Did you do cheerleading? <laughs> uh, yes, I was a cheerleader, but I um, I actually uh, played college softball. But I was always really athletic, and I'm really glad to hear that your son was listening to it because I I feel the track really it can it can fit for anybody. It's really for everybody, and so I'm really glad to hear that. I knew it was going as soon as my wife, because my wife. She's a, a white girl from out here in uh, the, the sticks, if you will, a country girl, and she was singing it. 
And I was like, you know, yeah. what? I'm about to have an interview with Tay Money. And she's like, are you that's, serious? I was like, yeah. That's It's so crazy. Every day I wake up, somebody, whether it's family, friends, it don't even matter. If they got my number, they're like, hey, did you see this? Did you hear this? And I'm like, whoa, it's just good news every day I wake up. We just blessed over here. And I'm thankful. So thankful. Is it a is it a crazy feeling to have something that just um, I don't want to say pops off <laughs> overnight because I'm sure you've grinded uh, you know a long time, but is it kind of surreal to kind of see it take off as fast? I mean, you got Taylor Swift we we tweeting your song. Yeah, it's I'm telling you, it is a crazy feeling. Like my fingertips feel magical. It's, it's I. I can't explain it to you. It's like it does happen overnight, but also it doesn't happen overnight because I have been grinding for three, four years now as hard and the best that I can. And, and it's finally paying off. Like I could see it paying off. You know, when you do something, you don't actually see it happening, but I'm seeing it happen. And it's just, it's a crazy, surreal feeling. You know, Texas is known for its its music. I mean, you guys have a lot of um, artists in general, not just hip hop, but you guys have a lot of people to say, hey, if they can do it, I can do it because they're from the same state as me, uh, Dallas as well, same city as you. Um, we we don't have that out here in Utah. We haven't had that artist to, to just go and pop. So what advice would you give to a local artist that is trying to do exactly what you're doing, which is pursuing this musical career? My advice to them is to not second guess yourself and and to be to be that door for the other people because they could change their life, but you don't realize that you're opening doors for other people. You're giving other people chances and the confidence they need to chase their dreams. You don't know what's gonna happen. Like I was doing hair, and now I'm getting my hair done. Like you just don't know where it's going or how it's gonna happen. It's all God's plan, man. That's beautiful. So I gotta ask, is it hard to keep up that hair? Cause I see the colors. <laughs> Lord, yes. Oh my gosh, listen. But I love it so much. Like you put a new wig on me, or I get a new hair color, or some braids, or something. You can't tell me. Sh <laughs> I mean, nothing. Sorry. <laughs> Tay, we're on the radio now. <laughs> I'm, sorry, I'm, sorry, I'm so sorry. <laughs> you're good. You're good. So, um, how has uh, this whole pandemic thing has it? How has it impacted you um, in any way? Like as an artist. Um, it's crazy because, you know, everybody was off for like a real good year. And like I kind of forgot what was going on and like what life was, you know, like, we were just shacked up in the house. But my life hasn't stopped moving since outside opened back up. And I know that it's not fully, fully open, but it's moving like it's fully open. And I was I feel very lucky because in the middle of the pandemic, busting this other song I have, it took off. And I feel it kept me alive because I feel the pandemic either it was making people or it was breaking people and it kind of weeded out, you know, it weeded out some people and, and I was lucky enough to keep going and have longevity. Yeah. Uh, something about, you mentioned bussing. I did notice that, uh, Saweetie jumped on that as well, right? Yeah. She just hit me up and she's like, I want to get on it. And I'm like, that's like, like I'm going to be that person for somebody. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can't wait to go to somebody and be like, send me your song. I'm going to get on it because I'm, it's just it's love man and it's not a it's love out here but it ain't a whole lot of it you know what i'm saying yeah and i think the you leading by example could help maybe change that or maybe not change it but just show people that there are real ones out here to to do that yeah i told sweetie whatever she needs whenever she need it is done consider it done like i'm gonna be i'm gonna be that door for somebody too i love her she's great so what's up are we getting somebody jumping on the assignment remix or what Oh, yes, but I can't tell you who oh, yes. Come on, Tay. Man, come on, Tay. Come on, Tay. <laughs> That's dope. Well, I'm excited for uh, the 2.0 of the assignment. Uh, it's a really dope record. Um, I, I, I know you're going to tear it down tonight. Um, what, what, what are you proud of for yourself and what you've accomplished over the last three, four years? Like, what are you proud of? I am proud of how, just how responsible and how much of a woman I have became. Um, that that I'm just um, I'm just one heck of a woman, and I and and everything that came my way did that. I, I I can't explain it to you. It's like I am not the same person I used to be. So if you thought you knew me, think again, honey. Hmm. Well, it's a life's about changing, right? Evolving, 
learning, growing. Um, what does your family think about what you've accomplished and what you're doing? Oh, it's so funny. Let me tell you, when I first told them I was rapping, they looked at me like I was a big fat headache. Like, golly, what are we finna do with her? And then, and now they're calling me. My dad's calling me like, "Hey, can you tell these people I'm your dad, please?" <laughs> I'm like, uh, uh, no. And then my mom, you know, she she was like, you know, she wanted me to keep my job until I was able to leave my job. You know, she wanted me to stay grounded in reality because I was living this dream and. And and now, you know, she's on board with everything and that support. I, I hope everyone can get that support. But you do have to prove yourself in order to get that support. It doesn't just come and nothing is easy. Like, you got to fight for that. You really do. How does Tay Money fight through it? How do you fight through the nose? How do you fight through the, nose, uh, the naysayers? I am an Aries. So if you tell me I can't do something, I'm going to show you. It's all about me putting it back in your face. Like, that's why I'm here. I'm here to put it in your face. And if you don't like me, I'm going to make you like me. But that it it's just about showing. I'm all about actions. Like, we don't got to talk about it. I, and, and it's also like you can't talk about that change without going and getting that change. You just got to reach down inside and you got to pull it out. And if it ain't in there, it ain't in there. You got to find it. So were you were you rapping during the time when you were doing hair? Were you making music? Yes, and, and I was going crazy in the head, like, while I was doing someone's hair. I was just planning music videos and planning photo shoots and just trying to get content out there. And my mind w was in another place, and it was just cr it was just crazy to me. But, you know, hair, I keep my hair license up to date. I do my continuing education and everything because I love hair. And that's never forget where you came from and what you was doing. And so... I'm still a hairstylist too. I'm just pay money. <laughs> yeah, that's. I think that's dope. I think that that proves that you are grounded, right? It's, it proves that a hundred percent. You are somebody 100%. that's humble. Oh yes, like that's everything. And I and and nothing against people that were raised in big cities, but my tiny little town taught me that. It taught me my. Everyone's gonna tell you, pay money has great hospitality. Pay money has great manners, and that's fact. And my mama raised a good one. Ah, that's beautiful. Are you a are you a mother yourself? No, but um, shout out to my mom. You know they understand the assignment. <laughs> yeah, shout out to all the moms out there. There's gonna be a lot of moms at the uh, at the concert tonight because we've been giving away tickets and all of them are excited uh, to come and check you out. Um, another question I was wondering. I mean, it's 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 a lot of stardom and what you're doing. I mean. Working with Sweetie, working uh, on on a dope record, having all these things go on right now in such a—I mean, with all due respect—in such a small amount of time. I mean, three and four hours or uh, years is not a, a lot of time. Um, it's not by fast. How how do you manage your mental health during all this? Like, how do you make sure that you're okay mentally? I um I'm I'm a very religious person, so. God keeps me, you know, God keeps me safe. Um, and, and I have, I'm surrounded by a great team. Um, my team is friends. My, my team are friends. Like, I created my team through my friends. I'm trying to get my friends jobs. Now, they can't be acting up and being crazy and having fun. This is a job, you know. I want them to treat it like a job. But I have great people surrounding me, and I think that's the number one thing. Is It's, it's the people you're around. And... With the, the music videos that you've been doing, like The Assignment, which is a great video, by the way. i seen you hitting them cartwheels. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um, what, what's your involvement with the, the visuals and, and you as a brand? Like, are you heavily involved in every all the imaging oh, that we see? Yes. I mean, it, it, it it's not coming out unless Tay Money had her hands on it because... I do not want to portray anything that's not me. I don't want to sell you anything that's not something I would sell, you know, myself. Like, it's like, I need to show, th I'm here to show you who I am. And so if you think I'm going to put something out there that's not me, you're wrong. And that goes for the label. That goes for, that goes for anybody. If I don't like it, I ain't doing it. And I think that's what's wrong with today. People are doing stuff because people are telling them to do it. And we got to stand up and be like, yo, these people rock with me for me. Let me be me. That's what it is. I have that conversation with a lot of my friends to this day that, you know, we as creatives, all the bigger people, they need us, right? We, we are the creatives. Yeah, like, it's, it's, I think that sometimes 
uh, that that's probably something I, I kind of want to say. Like, you know, don't get lost because these people are bigger and have more money than you and, and they're funding you or, or whatever it may be. You think because they say it, you got to do it and it's going to work. And that's not telling you to rebel and not do it. It's just telling you to follow your heart and be and be who you are. Don't don't let them come in and change up the look, the sound, the none of that. None of that. Don't because they found you because you were being you, so you got to stay you. See, that's beautiful. I think that's great advice. From somebody that is uh, living a lot of people's dreams, right? A lot of people look up to you right now. And um, you mentioned it, right? You have a big responsibility. You can't be acting up and things like that. So you being a really good example of somebody that can stay true to themselves, right? And and still right. be successful in it. Yes, 100%. And, and when I met with, uh, like, when I met with some labels, like when I very first started out, I was lucky enough to meet with, a bunch of people in the first and second month, you know, like they, they loved it off rip and that was great and stuff. But I told them from the point blank, one of the things I always told them is I want to do it the right way because I don't think there's many people out there doing it the right way. And, and, and you know what? They all pass on me. They all pass on me. Mm. They want, you know, controversy and problems and stuff. People feed off that. Well, you're not going to get that over here. You're just not going to get it. I ain't got no drama. We don't come with none of that. Like, it's all positive vibes and love and humble, you know what I'm saying? So, I told them I want to do the right way. They passed on me, and now we're doing it the right way, and now they gas on me. Yeah! Yeah, exactly. That's bars right there. Tay Money, I think you are <laughs> a, a beautiful human. Um, when what, What's the next tattoo? What's the next ink you're getting? Ooh, I want these little cherries. I, I actually got this little lick and stick cherry tattoo the other day, and I put it on me to make sure I liked it, and I love it. I'm going to go get it. I was trying to get one last night in Salt Lake, but they said they close at 9. <laughs> yeah, that's a problem here. <laughs> well, they have to go get one before the show. You look, this is this is the, how crazy it is. I know you're from a small town. It might be similar, but um, here in Salt Lake, um, we don't do anything on Sunday. Everything's closed. The church shuts everything down. Not a liquor store open. You can't buy no no bottle, nothing. Like, well, and, that's crazy because there's no liquor sales in, in, on Sunday where I'm from either. See, see, <laughs> parallels. Yeah. You need but, to you need to move out here, buy a house out here, get a condo or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I got to make some friends first, so they need to come out to the show tonight. There you go. Tay Money live in concert tonight at Soundwell. Five hundred dollars is up for grabs. It's a costume contest. Tay's bringing her costume. You got to bring yours and come party with yep. us. And don't be mad if I take the five hundred dollars, but that's that's <laughs> another time. <laughs> yo, would you do that? Like, yo, I am the winner. <laughs> Bro, I definitely would do that. <laughs> I, hey, I, I vibe with you, Tay. I appreciate you. Next time you're in town, please come up to the station. Um, we would love to have you in, and uh, we could do some fun, uh, some fun content together. Okay, I really appreciate your time and the questions. It was very well. It was just very well thought out, and 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 thank you so much. I love Salt Lake City. It's beautiful, and I hope to see everyone at Soundwell. You, ninety two.